Hello everyone and welcome to our new episode of The Three Whisketeers, the show that likes to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. I'm Jamie, yeah. your host. It's our angel haired hair, hip, hipster Curtis. <laughs> try again? Our happy Honduran Eddie. Uh, today we have a nice short fat bottle and I have no idea what this is, so <laughs> why don't you go ahead and explain to us. Ooh, boom! Boom. Here we go. Ooh. Doug and Kathy boned us this bottle. Okay. Wow. It They're is in a lovely so so fact. Yeah, they, they are friends of the show, right, Bernie? Yeah, friends they are of the fans show. of the show. Okay. Fans of the show. Yeah. Rampore Distillery, established and, and in 19... Kathy with a K, because every year when I send them a Christmas card, I forget and I put a C and, you know... Well, God bless her heart. Yeah, and she <laughs> and she, she puts up with me, so... Oh, okay. We all do. This is Rampore Distillery, established in 1943. So this is, uh, this is World War II era. Indian single malt whiskey, non-chilled filtered, vintage select cask, indulge in the risk, sorry, indulge in the rich Indian heritage and enduring tradition of the Himalayas. Aged in the foothills of the Himalayas, this exquisite whiskey is in the Kuhinur of single malts, decades of perfection, product of India, proudly to say, all right. Distilled and bottled at Radical Kaiten Limited, Kapoor, Kampoor, made in India. So we're having some Indian stuff right now, man. Yeah, and you know, I've heard some people say that Indian whiskey isn't that good. Mm -hmm. Really? But... And what do they know? Yeah, what do they know? But, you know, I've also found that this whiskey gets a very, very high review from uh, across the board. Really? Really. And it is different than most whiskeys I've tried. Really? The, the nose is different, the taste is different, the palate is different, and it's also a very young whiskey. I mean, they usually, it's not more than usually two years in, in the cake. Okay, so it's pretty fresh. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't, no, it doesn't have that. It oh, doesn't okay. have that. Okay. There's something, maybe it's the, maybe it's the altitude, maybe it's mm. the climate. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't have that greenness. Okay, the nose is different. Yeah, it is completely different. Isn't it's, that uh, I kind of, the first time I smelled it, I identified like passion fruit, star fruit. It's a very fruity scent. Underneath that, there's kind of this unique musty smell that almost yeah. reminds me of like an old bookstore or something. Yeah. yeah. But there's also <laughs> honey. Yeah, okay. there's honey too. There, there's honey there. I'm getting that fruit. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, I'm getting that fermented that honey smell. Really? Yeah. yeah. The, the one I just mentioned. Do you think clove burnt? Possibly. Oh, to the, to the nose? To yeah. The smell? And then maybe. That could be it. Yeah. <laughs> now, Doug and Kathy got this from. Uh, a friend of theirs mm -hmm. who is um, works for a big distributor up in Minnesota. Okay. And he was able to get this, and maybe they have it in Minnesota, but we don't certainly have it in Iowa, and I have not seen it like in Illinois or any of the other places that I haunt. So um, I, th I think it's kind of nice to be able to try a whiskey from somewhere other than just the United States or Scotland. Yeah. After you swallow, there's almost a peppery linger. Yeah, and it's like wet. Like black pepper or white pepper, white pepper. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. And it's wet. It's not a dry finish. It's wet all the way. It is. It, yeah. it lingers and lingers and lingers. Like my, and, my. Do you notice after you swallow it, the original bouquet comes up through the palate? Yeah. I mean, it, what you smelled when you were nosing it comes up after you. Mm -hmm. after you yeah, I, I think that's really interesting. I thought the same thing. This seems like a very archaic type flavor. Like it's something that feels kind of ancient. And maybe it's because we're old mentioned. world. Yeah, flavor. maybe it's because we're talking about the Himalayas and India, and 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 we've had so much bourbon that it, you know it's not it's not all the same. Everybody's got the little twist, but the twist on this um, is so vast that yeah, it is a whiskey, but it's so much different. Then it's like wow, I think I want to try some other Indian stuff and see what they got going on. But this is an example of our wonderful viewers. Yes offering us something that's unique mm -hmm. and we're able to taste it on the show. I wouldn't be able to get this bottle any other way. I didn't even know India made whiskey. Oh, I knew that. Okay. Well, yeah, you I've, would know that, but... I've seen it, but I've never heard anybody ever talk about it. Yeah. No. no. You, no. Want, you want to uh, expand, maybe try something different? Try like, something. if you go to try an Indian food, it's just a different experience and it's something yeah. everybody yeah. should do. Everybody should go out and try this and look it up. Um, if you can find it, if it's in your area, go ahead. But if, if, if not... We have uh, Doug and Kathy to thank for this one in Burn. Thank you, Doug and Kathy. For Rampur. Rampur. Beautiful. Thank you. All for one.
It's your line. <laughs> Sorry. No, wait a second. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Share <laughs> on our Facebook Do it. page and our YouTube channel. All for one. One, one for, for all. all. Subscribe. Subscribe, damn it. I think I can fix it. <laughs> I don't think he should fix it.